In this video, we will look at how to use the dig utility and understand more about the DNS protocol. So what we will do is that we want to figure out the IP address of mail.google.com and the way we will find that is by traversing the entire DNS hierarchy right from the root servers to the top level domain authoritative servers and then down the hierarchy finally to the name server of google.com so let's look at how we can do that so let's first put dig and then press enter once we do that we get a listing of all the root dns servers let's take the a.root-servers.net having an ip address of 198.4104 and use this root dns server to go ahead and query mail.google.com so we do that by saying dig and then the add sign the server name and then the fqdn we want verified which is mail.google.com once we hit the top level root server it actually replies and actually tells us that the authoritative servers for the com domain are listed here and let's say we pick up the first authoritative server this is a.gtld-servers.net having an IP address of 192.5.6.30 so as we can see we queried the root DNS server the root DNS server says hey this is a com domain so go to the authoritative you know servers for the com domain it gives us a huge list a to j or something and then we are now going to pick up the a.gtld-servers.net so let's now take that IP address and once again use dig to query uh, this specific com authoritative server for mail.google.com hit enter once we do it now what the com server says is the authoritative name server for google.com is ns1.google.com to ns4.google.com and you know as predictable uh, the next step is to take the IP address of ns1.google.com which is the name server for the google.com domain and query it for mail.google.com uh, when we do that what happens is in the answer section we get an interesting reply the reply says that mail.google.com is actually nothing but google mail google.com right and c name is nothing but the canonical name so it is like an alias which is given to that specific name so in such a case what we need to do now is pick up a dns server from the authority section and query that dns server for google mail dot one dot google dot com now the ip address which that will return will be exactly same as for that of mail dot google dot com so let's go ahead and do that you know this is the c name google mail uh, dot l dot google dot com let's uh, have a look at that let's scroll down and let's go ahead and paste that as the query also we have to now go ahead and change the IP address of the DNS server to a.1.google.com which is authoritative for that domain okay great so now we have a reply and the reply clearly says that google email.google.com has multiple IP addresses uh, you know which is 209.85.201.19 uh, then we have 17, 18 and 83 which means actually there is a cluster of servers having the same name and uh, generally what happens is through DNS it is possible to rotate this server list and do kind of a load balancing uh, for very large server farms so uh, you know our application would actually pick up probably the first IP address and try that and connect to uh, google mail dot 
one.google.com which is nothing but mail.google.com so well that's all for this video so we saw how we took a domain name mail.google.com and traversed right from the root dns server to the authoritative server for the com domain then the authoritative servers for google.com figured out there is a canonical name took that canonical name went to the next authoritative server and finally got the ip address so i would encourage you to actually try out a similar example to understand exactly how the dns hierarchy works that's all for this video thank you